those strength wove his fate on his presence before the populace of the East comes and the tiger throne comes Mikhail Melraki. Shepherded by the four winds to the, the hall of Hodor, throne weapons champion for the barony of the Kale, three time holder of the golden axe, creator of the blue feather flame. As though answering the call of Heimdall at the Bifrost, he appears to autocrat, to cook, to marshal, to teach, to better the populace. Like Tyr, who sacrificed his arm to Fenrir, Mikhail sacrifices his time to serve his kingdom and the society. Today, at Pensic 51, the throne weapons marshal in charge comes before your majesties Tyndall and Emerson to answer the question before him. Yesterday, we put before you a question. Or the day before. <laughs> they blend. <laughs> but the question was still there. You have had counsel, a vigil, consultation. Will you join with the Order of the Pelican? I have heard the advice of the populace, and yes, I will join the Order of the Pelican. Their Majesties invite into their court the Order of the Pelican. You're going to need to back up. Mikhail has heard words of advice, but now we would hear words of support. Who would speak in support of this candidate? Your Majesties, good gentles, I am Sabine de Cabriant, and I speak on behalf of the Order of the Laurel, if I may. I have known Miguel a long time. We're not going to talk about how long. <laughs> and in all the time that I have known him, I have associated him with his weaving and his fiber arts, but not just with the doing of them, with the joy and the pride that he takes in pursuing his craft. This man identifies himself so much with his craft that in his statement of who he is as a Skadian, the first way he identified himself was as a craftsperson. And I am here to tell you that he is not just a craftsperson. He is an artist. I am delighted to call him a friend, a fellow Michele, and now to welcome him into the Order of the Pelican. <coughs> Is there another that would speak for this candidate? Your Majesties, I would speak as a member of the Order of the Chivalry and on the basis of Marshall. I have known Mikhail for many years, and when asked this question, to, to speak for him, I considered our forefathers and the virtues. And in the virtues that I consider is charity, that of giving. And that tonight, your court has shown me over and over again, as we always see in the East, we have so many members to give for their time over and over again. And when I look at Mikhail, I think not only of giving and charity, but sacrifice. Because as scorekeeper, he gives his time, his personal time, 
as marshal, he gives up his time. As marshal of events, he misses the event in order that others may play, may learn, may participate. I can think of no greater thing to say than to sacrifice your event, your time of the event, your joy of the event, so that others can participate and be part of that event. And to me, that makes him my peer. Is there another that would speak in support of this candidate? Yes, Your Majesties. My name is Moore Royal McShane, Order of Defense, and with your permission, I, have, I can address your comments. Absolutely. When McHale started in the SCA 31 years ago, so did his pattern of doing and helping. <clears throat> pattern is formed by unyielding consistency. Mikhail has shown this pattern, doing and helping in everything he tasked himself with. His tablet weaving, being an MOL, the Throne Weapons Marshal, and working at Trolls so often he only lists them on his wiki when he's done them five times or more. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail has been recognized for many talents for being head cook, to event steward, to throw weapons marshal. He serves to prove his perseverance. He's never limited himself to just sitting on the sidelines waiting for something to get done. He has consistently stood up and taken on duties and tasks that need to be done to make sure the populace has what it needs for events. His perseverance to help others has made him a driving force in so many areas of the SCA, but none so much as thrown weapons, where he has been the baronial champion many times. Mikhail has the passion for doing for people, especially for the people that have always been here and always will be. Mikhail, your teaching has allowed countless others to grow in the SCA allowing others to share their joy in all that you have taught them. Mikhail, you are my peer, and your majesties, this is a good thing you are doing tonight. Thank you. Three of the five peerages have spoken. Are there more who will speak now for this candidate? There is, your majesties. I'm Countess Vienna de la Mer, and I will speak on behalf of the Rose. Mikhail, my friend, you have done so much for this kingdom. You've woven hundreds of miles of trip for garb, for royals at the last minute. Like, I don't know how you found time to do that, but you have. You've done so much for the throne weapons community. And you continue. You, you're an archer. You do so much. And you do it with great joy and great love. The love you show for this game is so evident in everything you do. We need more people like you in this society. I thank you. Your Majesty, what you do here today is a very good thing. Is there anyone else that would speak to support this candidate? I am Mistress Catherine R. I speak on behalf of the Order of the Pelicans this evening. Count, it has been a long, long, long time. I have never been to an event where you haven't been working. I've never known of a time when maybe not at an event, you're still working. This is a long overdue recognition of you as a peer, because you have been a peer for a long, long time. The other night you said something to me. You told me that you had never felt so loved as you had at your vigil the other night. This is me coming to tell you, you are loved, and I hope that you know how dearly I and others love you, and how much you are deserving of this recognition. Your Majesties, I wholeheartedly support this man as my peer to you. Thank you. Strong words. Strong words five times. 
Is there a medallion to adorn this man? Yes, Your Majesty. know him as a fellow? Is there a history to this No, Your Majesty. He starts the new legacy himself. Is there a cloak? There is. The applique work is by Lord this is up, Karen, Uma Karen. Lady Chana the Maker, Chana the Maker did the trim. It's a Viking of <laughs> <laughs> Is there a hood to keep his head dry? <laughs> <laughs> this is recreated by myself and Lady Navia. <clears throat> is there a hat? service and my fealty unto your majesties, Tyndall and Emerson, and unto the kingdom that you rule. I offer my arms to wield knives and axes to defend its borders. I offer my brain to give counsel in times of peace, and I give my heart to care for its people, and I promise to bring rainbows Whenever I can. <laughs> yeah. so the, the wolves swallow the moon and the sun. Odin confronts Venris and Thor, the Midgard serpent. Strong words, and do we, Tyndall and Emerson, know these words? be true from your heart and given with great oath to us. In times of war, you shall have our protection. In times of peace, you shall always have a place in our hearts and our home. And always, when we look to rainbows, we will think of you. <laughs> <laughs> this we so swear until the crowns pass from our heads or the world should end. Mikhail Melrocky was named a pelican by Tyndall and Emerson, ring givers. Phelan raised the stone in Anno Societatis 59. For Mikhail, newest companion of the pelican. Mikhail! 